I'm uh, Jason Johnson. I'm one of the cardiology fellows at Duke, and I'll be talking about uh, cancer risk estimation uh, in children less than five of age from uh, cardiac catheterization. Um, I think it's well established that uh, radiation exposure uh, can lead to cancer uh, in select populations. Um, to what extent it's unknown, and especially in children with congenital heart disease, um, uh, quantifying the amount of effective radiation dose in that patient population is limited at this time. Um, so our study was aimed to calculate the effective dose from uh, radiation exposure in cardiac catheterizations and to further estimate the cancer risk using uh, lifetime attributable risk. Um, uh, our methods included uh, looking at all cardiac catheterizations from the um, period of time from zero to five years of age uh, in children that are less than five um, for three specific entities, specifically the Norwood procedure, um, transplants, uh, and uh, ASD device closure in the cath lab. Um, we calculated the effective dose from a um, um, uh, radiation dose calculator using um, anthropomorphic phantoms. And then we calculated the, the uh, uh, lifetime attributable risk um, using the biological effects of ionizing radiation report seven um, that is currently in the literature. Um, what we found was is that uh, the uh, single um, catheterization uh, effective doses were higher um, if you were having Norwood or an ASD closure um, and were lower if you had just a single transplant. Uh, however, um, over the cumulative effective uh, time, the transplant patients received so many caths that they uh, had more cumulative uh, exposure. And that led to a higher lifetime uh, attributable risk of cancer. Um, the uh, highest risk for uh, lifetime attributable risk of cancer uh, was the transplant population. And um, that was uh, important to note because they come back so many times to the cath lab. For uh, specific populations, it was the median lifetime attributable risk was about 3% um, in the five uh, years um, of the study. In the transplant population, it was about 2% in the Norwoods. Um, and in the patients who had an ASD closure, it was about a half percent. The conclusions of the study were to limit radiation exposure in certain patient populations. Uh, your cancer risk is higher if you're female, and that's due to breast cancer exposure. Um, and as well as patients who we know are going to keep coming back to the cath lab to try to limit that exposure. Uh, ways to limit that exposure would be um, uh, limiting the fluoro time, um, uh, changing the frame rates on your CINAs, um, going around 15 frame rates, um, uh, frames per second or less. Um, Thank you very much for your time.